All right, hello everyone. My name is Ark, and welcome back to another review. In this review, we will be looking at Samus Aran from Metroid Dread. This has been one of my most anticipated figures throughout the whole year of 2023, back when she went up on pre-order in November of 2022. I have been waiting for her for a whole year, and I am just glad that she is finally here and I'm ready to just get into it. So, this figure is the first figure in the Metroid franchise since Metroid Prime. Uh, I will, I believe Metroid Prime was the last Figma that they released, or it could have been, no, yeah, I believe it was Metroid Prime. Uh, there is going to be the Emmy from Metroid Dread coming out next year, which is another year for me to review one of my most anticipated figures of 2024 but this is a figure i have been waiting for myself as a recent fan of the metroid franchise i started with metroid dread on the nintendo switch and i overall fell in love with the whole franchise the story and even the figures I have a lot of Metroid figures. It is not funny. But this, when this was announced, I was as giddy as a schoolgirl. So let's just get right into it. I love the way that Figma has been doing this recently, where they include this nice sleek sleeve over the box. So it kind of like protects it and it gives a better display of what's to come. I already went over it, but like in with my motions, but we have Samus and her iconic pose. We have Good Smile Company, Figma, and Metroid Dread. Now, it is officially licensed by Nintendo because it has to, and it has to at Nintendo uh, Corporation. And of course, it is Samus Aran, the Dread version. And I like how there is a little bit of a metallic blue on the label which is awesome always love to see that the top is not that interesting it just says figma max factory x masaki apsi action figure series which is the figma line bottom is just the qr code no one dare steal that from me and of course figma metri dread samus aaron good smile company on the side and we have all the poses showcasing samus aaron in her wonderful glory in the back of the box and of course the choking choking hazard that they have to include that this is not suited for three-year-olds or lower and yeah we have such a, a bunch of different poses that honestly i'm just excited to get into seeing myself and we have the actual box of samus aaron over here now just opening real slowly i don't want to ruin anything we have Ooh, that looks good. I love... Let's put the box on the side a little bit for a little bit. I love the blood red or the scarlet red that it goes around the box. And, of course, we have the same poses in the back of the box. I think it's placed differently, um, perhaps. Yes, it is. Um, but, yeah, we have Samus on the top, Samus on the side, Samus on the front, Samus on the side. No Sam... Oh, Samus on the, on the bottom, too. Wow, okay. All right, so I know I, it's been taking me forever to get into the actual figure, but I just wanted to take uh, to appreciate this figure finally being here in my own hands. So let's just get right into it. Let's see what she comes with. So here we have Samus Aran in her mighty full glory, which I think is pretty good. So uh, this is a different way of me doing things. And I just wanted to showcase her all around without me having to zoom as much as before. But just looking at her, she looks awesome. Um, in terms of height, I know Figma's compared to epic figure arts are slightly taller 
So she is sitting at around, uh, I want to say, six inches, which is awesome. That's actually pretty high, uh, pretty tall for a figure, uh, especially a one. I think Figmas are a one twelve scale, but I honestly, just from the looks of it, the paint job is already looking amazing. And uh, her her Met, uh, Metroid Dread design is absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I think it's one of the better designs from the Metroid franchise and I think it has become a staple in recent times especially because Metroid Dread has been the first Metroid game in the franchise or uh, Metroidvania style game since 2004 I think or 2003 I don't remember but I will put the year on when uh, Metroid Fusion and Metroid Prime, uh, Metroid Dread, uh, were, were released. So, getting a closer look at Samus right here, we can see the different uh, paint job that they did with her. And again, she has a little bit of a glossy finish, metallic finish, on everything. But her visor, and actually the visor also has like a metallic finish. I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, she seems to have a metallic finish on pretty much everything. Especially the shoulder pads and the kind of tendrils that she has all around of her, her body. Uh, that are showcased pretty much throughout the, the game. Uh, but yeah, she looks awesome. Especially the black, the the hand cannon. Uh, yeah, the hand cannon. Yeah, that's what it's called. It looks amazing. Oh my god, focus, please! I'm begging you. It looks absolutely divine. the The, the details on it look insanely accurate to what the game is. A uh, uh, small cut there. Uh, my f camera fell, but yeah. Just looking at the details everywhere, like, they got the smallest of crevices everywhere. And I think that's insane to think about, especially for a figure this size. Like, you can just, you can just see the amount of detail and line work that went into this figure. And I feel like they didn't want to disappoint. And I think they did not disappoint. I think they did a really good job captivating the design of Samus. Uh, and her Metroid uh, dread suit into the figure. Now, uh, just getting a closer look at everything, she has a lot of like additional uh, details from her body. For example, in on her feet, she does have like the little boots, and I honestly think this is awesome. These sections move forward and they like pivot, which is. Oh my god, I never thought I would see the day where shoes would just move like this. That's awesome. Again, this is probably one of my favorite figures in the whole, uh, like, overall. Um, and then, of course, uh, we've seen... The, well, actually, we've seen this in... Um, when, in SH Figure Arts. But they ha she has the shoulder pads, and most most time... Most... most uh, 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 She has shoulder pads, and most of the times the shoulder pads are an issue in figures, but for this, it's the same as SH Figure Arts, where her shoulder pads are connected to the arms. As you can see, there's a small joint connected to the whole uh, back of the arm. I'm not sure if that's detachable, and I will not find out today, as I just got this figure. Now, in terms of everything else, she has pretty much the same articulation as any other figure. She has the butterfly joints, which is gives her such a wide rate of range of motion. Like, look at that. That is better than some figures we've looked at previously in this channel. Um, and then just putting the arms up and everything. It's amazing. Amazing how much range she has as a, as a figure itself. Especially for a figure <laughs> as expensive as she is. Um, in terms of crunch, crunch capabilities, uh, just putting her forward, I think that's pretty good. That's all. That's great. That's awesome. Um, 
going backwards. Don't bend the legs. That's good as well. I think the crunch uh, capabilities of the torso are great. And I don't think this is going to have any issues with... Um, with like the paint uh, being messed up and everything. Uh, this figure was not really covered with the plastic slips in between the the joints, which is a pretty good sign because that means that it won't get scratched up easily. The metallic paint might be an issue later down the line, but I'm not entirely sure how that would hold up. But I don't think it's gonna be such a big deal that it makes the figure uh, just bad overall now in terms of like just again joints her legs she has um a very wide rate of mo uh, motion range of motions inside of the game so i'm pretty sure they tried their best to captivate every single piece of it especially with that just makes it perfect like where the feet can actually bend this much because of this section being movable, that is awesome. Whoever designed this figure and worked at designing this figure deserves a raise. So I overall already like her, but we always have to take into account many other things and that is the accessories. So give me one second and I will be right back. All right, considering one of the first accessories for Samus, we actually uh, have the stand that every Figma, or at least to my knowledge, comes with. And that is something I really appreciate appreciate from Good Smile Company adding into their figures because uh, buying separate stands that are good quality for, let's say, SH Figure Arts, I had to buy two different ones and they're okay, but they're not perfect. And Figma just including their own stand and base and everything just makes it so much better. But moving on from that, we have at least her first left hand where, where you can actually see it right here in this pose holding the, or pretty much stabilizing the arm cannon. And I think it's a pretty good hand. Uh, the quality is also there in terms of detail. And again, they did not disappoint. Um, I will say she doesn't have as many accessories as you'd think for a figure her price, but I do think the quality of her really um, picks up the, the slack when it comes to the pricing. I normally don't have an issue when price uh, when figures are such a big um, expensive, as long as they're good quality and they come with enough accessories that actually determines the um what what word am i looking for i don't know what word i'm looking for but i if i do remember it um then i will put it on the screen right here but yeah it it, it was value i was looking for the word value i don't know why it took me so long to figure it out but yeah let's move on to the next one in terms of additional accessories, Samus does come with another hand, which uh, is pretty funny because she only has two left hands, um, excluding her main fist. But I think that's pretty funny. Um, she's left-handed. Um, but yeah, again, this is another hand that has pretty good quality. As you can see, it's pretty much an open hand. She doesn't really have much of motion in terms of the different hands she comes with is really just uh, one holding the cannon and then another one that's kind of like, what am I supposed to do with this? And then of course her fist, which she doesn't really use overall, but yeah, um, yeah, again, a good quality, uh, not many accessories, but the next two are actually pretty cool. All right, so of course any Metroid game has its own uh, morph ball, which this Samus does come with as an accessory and I think it's a pretty good looking morph ball especially since it really encapsulates the the design of the actual suit from Samus in this game and I think it's pretty different from just a regular sphere that looks a plain color and with the lights around it 
I'm glad that they changed it a little bit in the game, and I'm glad that it was they were able to capture it really well, and for the figure. Uh, now, in terms of um, more accessories, there's one, two left actually, um, that we have yet to look at. This Samus does come with an additional uh, arm cannon, which I actually think it's pretty cool. They introduced it in this game, and it is called the Omega Cannon, I think. Or the Omega Blaster. I will put the picture on it on the screen, but whatever. Uh, I think this as a whole separate piece is really cool. Uh, although I do wish they included like um, effects for both of these cannons, like just a regular arm cannon, and then the Omega Blaster or, or the Omega Cannon. I, I again, I will put the name on the screen on the screen whenever I mess it up. Um, but yeah, I, again really cool uh accessories all around and she does have one last one but i don't really know how to show it overall uh so yeah just give me one second all right so this samus uh or this figure overall actually comes with a magnet that includes um a hand and her foot her left hand and foot uh, because in the game, I, if I can get um, some footage of it, she can like climb up walls with her spider ability, which I think is pretty cool. And I would, I'm actually glad that they were able to capture this. And it's probably one of the reasons why it's very expensive because it's an actual magnet, and it can connect with, it can like, magnetize itself and pull itself together to a very strong surface. Just to show it off, here's the magnet. It, it's a it's an actual magnet. So I think it's pretty cool that they did this. Um, again, probably why one of her one one of the reasons the price tag is so big. But this figure is cool overall. And yeah, let me just get to the final verdict for my or my final verdict. For my final thoughts on this Samus figure, as one of my most anticipated figures in all of 2023, I do think that she is a great figure to give and to get as a Metroid fan. If you have someone that loves Metroid, you should get them this figure. If, you have, if you're someone that loves Metroid, you should get this figure. Who knows how available she's going to be in the future, because as we can see, we have like the Metroid Prime 3 Figmas that are like $300 or more and it's actually insane how high of value they are at this point. And even then like the uh, Metroid Other M Figmas are very expensive as well at the moment. And while yes, this figure is like $104 after shipping depending on where you live, it's not as much as let's say in five years if it's discontinued or something but as a final score i give this figure an eight out of ten i believe um mostly because it does have a lot of accessories but i wish it came with more and that's just my opinion uh more accessories would have definitely bumped it up to a nine it's not a perfect figure because of the accessories uh not being that many but it has enough to where I actually like it. It's a good score. It's a good figure. Good everything. Quality. Uh, Posability and everything. I love it. But yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all in the next review.